Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial guys on a brand new Minecraft station that could take you up to 29 different destinations all in one spot, guys. Now, let's jump right into it. Right off the bat, guys, we have this awesome selector panel that allows you to cipher right through each stop, and you could choose back and forth where you want to go. So if you didn't like that spot and you said, hey, let me go over here, you can press that button, and you will go directly to that destination. Now, when you're ready to go, you hit the button, minecart would actually appear right in front of you giving you about five seconds to hop on before it departs look at that so cool now, as you can see guys everything is so tight and unified and you can see this really cool pattern now what's happening here guys is that the pistons are pushing the two rails to create that curvature where you go off so when the guy's coming he goes forward drops down and goes right out now another cool thing about this guys you're not going to get any damage now, once you leave the station, guys, when you're returning, it's going to go right to the other side automatically all the time. And there's actually an arrival side, which you will get ejected and the minecart will go right back to the front. It's all that. Now, slow motion, guys, we got this really cool, simple piston system, which brings down the block. The minecart falls right into that spot and it goes right back up. Then the minecart goes all the way down to the front, hits that cactus, goes right into the hopper and right back to that first dispenser that I showed you earlier where it popped up. See? Now, say you have no minecarts. You can actually dump them right into this little barrel right here, you see? So like a little storage for minecarts in case you don't have any. Now, say for example, you didn't select anything at all, right? You forgot to select, you thought you did, and you're like, oh man. You hit the button, say the minecart goes off, not to worry, it's not going to go somewhere off to the lands. It's just going to go right around the entire system and take you right back to the front. All right. Saw that? Now, another big important information, guys. Make sure you're facing the north or south when doing this. It would only work north or south, okay, or up and down on the map, as you can see. So these are the only two directions you could build this on. Now, pause the video, guys, because at this point, you're going to have to get some measurements. It's going to be about 22 long, 37 wide. Each side in the front is, through, is 4 by 7 long, and that middle piece of strip is about 2 blocks long, right? Now, that's the center line. It's actually very important, and um, it really makes everything work smoothly. All right, now let's jump right here to the bottom and let's get right to it. Now, right here in that white area, that's the actual wall of where your button selector panel will be at. So keep that in mind. Now, on the back here, guys, you're going to place a row of blocks, leaving about four blocks of space here on each side. Then you're going to go over here in this corner, do the same exact thing, leaving about four blocks of space. And once you've done that, you're going to get some redstone dust and add a straight line of redstone dust from one side all the way to the other and in the middle you're going to add a redstone torch now starting from there you're going to add exactly 13 pieces of redstone dust going towards the front and right there guys place a block and a redstone torch now right here guys you're going to add a block on top of it block on the side creating this kind of v-shape with a repeater going forward or towards the back direction now over here just like we did in the back at a straight row block leaving four blocks of space on each side and here as well now the cool thing about this guys a lot of this is very symmetrical now you're gonna add some redstone dust right across on the top and once you have this look you're gonna do the same thing on this side but you're not gonna add the redstone dust yet <laughs> Then add another row of blocks right next to it. And of course, repeat on this side as well. Perfect. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna go right over here to the front, add a block there, one on top, delete the one underneath, just to get that angle. And once again, guys, we're gonna extend this right across. Then you're gonna add repeaters going forward and you're gonna do that once again right across. Now, a lot of this is extremely repetitive, okay? Then you're gonna add some redstone dust behind. Fantastic. 
Now, it doesn't have to be this big, guys. I'm showing the maximum size you can make this, but you can always make this smaller with the same exact pattern. Now, you're going to add two blocks like so at an angle and extend it right across. Now, once you've done that, you're going to add some repeaters going forward. Now, for each repeater, guys, make sure you pull it on full delay, four ticks. Now, right here, add another block and extend that row right across. Fantastic. All right, it's looking good. Now, you're going to add some droppers facing forward. And you get the gist, guys, right across. Now, you want to go right behind this dropper and kind of aim at that block. See? So when you place it, they're both facing each other. And once again, guys, repeat and rinse. Now add a block right there at a corner, at an angle, extend that right across. Then you're gonna get your comparators and place it forward. Now once you've done that, you're gonna go right here in each dropper, guys, and make sure you place one piece of dirt. See, it's all gonna be lit up. It's a great indicator to make sure you don't miss any of them. Now, once they're all lit up and perfect, you're going to get a button or a lever, whatever the case is, and place it right there in that first row, activate it, and that's going to reset the whole system. Just got to do it one time. Perfect. All right. Now, on top, you're going to add some wrestling torches right across. Then add a block right on top of it. Add a wrestling torch right in front of it. Then over here, guys, you're going to add one, two, three. And guess what? You're going to have to extend that all across to each one, making this awesome little platform. Now, once you've done that, add a block in the middle and one at an angle right there, as you see. And then put that right across. Now, make sure to add the repeaters on both sides going forward, okay? And guess what? <laughs> We're going to do that to each one. All right, everything's looking great. Now, all you have to do is add a block in front. Of course, extend that right across. Now, this is going to be the wall of the actual panel. Then you're going to add your buttons right in the front of that as well. Add another row of blocks on top of it. Now at this point, choose any block you want. Add some resto lamps so you know exactly where you're selecting. And add another row of blocks right on top of that to give it a nice trim. And add some blocks right on the side to really give it that nice touch. Now let's go right here to the back part. Now. Right now, you're going to add a block right there, about two blocks down underneath from that point. Add one, two, three, and four. Add one right on top like so. And you can actually delete the block underneath. Right there. Now, we're, of course, going to do that right across. Once you've done that, you're going to go right here in the front, add another block at an angle, and extend that as well. Now, underneath this block here, you're going to add a straight line of rest on dust. Then you're going to add repeaters going forward. See? And again, you're going to add another row of repeaters. Now you're going to add a rest on torch. Right across in front of each block, add a block right on top like so then add two blocks there delete the one in the center just so you have that angle extend this block right across then you're gonna get your repeaters <clears throat> and place it forward all right that should be facing the front of this and you're gonna put each repeater on four ticks full delay 
Fantastic. See? Full delay. Right in front of that, add a redstone torch, and of course, extend that right across with a block right on top of it. And once you've done that, you're going to get your sticky pistons and place it right there on top of that as well. Then you're going to add another row of redstone uh, torches <laughs> in front of each block, and then add another block on top, extend this right across. Then here, you're going to add redstone blocks and put that in front like so. Add another block right behind it. And this is going to be the wall. So you want to add a block right there and on top as well, just so you can have that all covered up as much as possible. Now, this is the last row of redstone torches you're going to have to add. Then you're going to add two blocks in front. Delete the first one. Well, before that, add two slabs underneath and delete the first one. So you kind of have this look, you see? Now let's increase these slabs all the way to the front. They're very important to believe it or not, so try not to use regular blocks. And you got a row of repeaters. Now all these repeaters have to be on two ticks. Then on top, you're going to add your sticky pistons and your regular pistons like so. Now, this is where it gets real interesting. You're going to add another slab there and extend that right across. Add a block on top of that redstone dust. Add some redstone blocks right in front of it and extend that right across. Now, at an angle, you're going to add another block. One, two, delete the first one. And you should have a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five blocks like so to create a perfect platform. Just five. And guess what? You're going to repeat this right across. So pause the video if you have to and make sure you have this awesome platform. <clears throat> so now you're going to get your power rails and place it all the way up and on top of the actual redstone block. Now bear in mind, guys, you're not going to walk through it. So crouch. So you get right underneath the slab with no headaches. So just place it, leaving a space of gap in between. And they all should look just like this. Now, there's a reason for this. Now, you're going to add your rail detectors and a rail in front of it and do that to each one. So make sure that's a rail detector. <clears throat> now, once you've done that, you want to put the power rail now in between and then place it right there. So four right across. Do not place it in the front because this will happen. See, they will curve east to west, and trust me, that's going to make the build very difficult. So just leave that space alone and just play start from there and add four. And do that to each one. It's going to make this whole build so much easier. Now, once you've done that, you're actually going to break these rails because you don't need them. So just destroy those rails because you're going to use them later and place a block in front of it. The whole point is so that when the minecart comes down, they hit that block with the power rail and shoot forward. Now, once you've done that, you're going to add your power rail right on top, like so. And do that to each one. And you're going to add your rail. You see how they all curve up naturally, which is awesome. Then you're going to add your rail detector right across. And that rail detector is your reset system. Now, once, I mean, you can pause the video at this point, guys. It's just simply to show you where it's going to be leaving. But once you set that all up, um, you can go right over here and add your power rails going forward. You see? So it gives that awesome curvature so that when the rail comes, it goes right through and goes forward. But when it comes back, it goes on top. Now, you're going to break those top rails. Because you want them to curve this way, not that way. Okay, so make sure when you're placing them, you're looking towards the east and west direction. See? You have to be looking in these directions. The rails are a bit tricky. Now, at this point, guys, to find out which side is the arrival side, all you have to do is place a minecart and press a button 
And in this case, it's going towards that direction. So that is where all the mine cards will be arriving. And trust me, you don't want to get that confused with the departure side because you have a ton of headaches. Now, in this case, the arrival side is the right side in the front part of this. So we're going to add a little framework here. Once you got that set up, we're going to go right to the back and start connecting these rails. Now, you're going to add two redstone blocks right here on the side. Add a block right there one in front of it one underneath then you can place one on the side and one underneath again and break the break the two blocks right on top once you've done that you're going to extend a straight line of blocks towards the front to create that perfect path <clears throat> awesome now at this point, you're gonna get a regular rail placing on that corner, place a power rail going downwards. Then you're gonna add one, two, three, and four. So a total of six power rails going towards that direction and place some power rails all on top of each redstone block. And next to it, you're gonna add some regular rails right across. And believe it or not, place one right there because that is actually a very important spot when it comes to this whole thing. Now, right there, you're going to add two regular rails and a rail detector in the middle. Add another regular rail and one more right smack right there on the inside. Then you're going to add one, two, three, four blocks, add a rail activator and three rails curv curving <laughs> forward. I'm all tongue tied. What that rail activator does is pushes you right off the minecart. Now we're gonna go right underneath guys and start working on this piston system. Now right here, in that first rail detector, add two blocks going forward with the rest of the dust right on top. Now you could add two repeaters. I'm gonna show you two different ways to set up this little timing system. And make sure that one of the repeaters are on four ticks. Then you add three blocks like so, add a repeater going forward and two pieces of redstone dust in the front. So that's gonna create an awesome delay. Now, if you want, you can add two comparators on opposite directions to create a much more longer delay, depending on what your, you know, your whole setup is or if you feel that it's going too fast. But for now, guys, I'm gonna to stick to the repeaters, plus they're easier and cheaper to make. Then you're going to add a block right in front of it. And right in front of that block, you're going to add a redstone torch. Add a repeater going forward, a block in front of that redstone dust with a repeater going in the opposite direction with a block in the middle and on the sides. And make sure they're both on two ticks. So pause the video, make sure you have this kind of look. Now get your sticky piston. You're going to add one on the side of that first block, one here going upwards. And right above, guys, add another block facing forward. Let's see. And a redstone dust next to it. And that's all you need, guys. And a block on top of that extended piston. Why? So that when the rail comes and the minecart hits the block and goes straight down, and it doesn't get stuck in the piston. All right. Now we're going to do the departure side. So add a few blocks, create that awesome framework. Now at this point, you're going to add right here to the corner, add one, two blocks and a dropper right next to it to so delete those two blocks, add a dropper on top of it. And it's very different. Add a dispenser. So two droppers and one dispenser. Once you have that, you're going to add a hopper on the side, which is completely optional with a hopper on top and a barrel right on top of that. That's your loading system. Now, right over here, guys, you're going to add a hopper on the front at about one, two, three, and four right there on the side. So you should have a total of five hoppers in this L shape. Then you're going to add a sand with a cactus right on top of it. It's going to break the mine card and bring it back into the hopper system. Now, we're just going to add a block right in front. And I'm just going to add a straight line here, guys. I'm just going to color code this <laughs> so you get a better visual. And add a straight line of power rails all the way from one side to the other. 
Now starting here where the block is, you're going to go straight down, which is right underneath here in that corner, at a block there and there as well, so that when it falls, it goes straight down to these two power rails. And then what I like to do is add a lever right here just to make sure that those rails are always powered. Add a regular rail, and I love power rails, guys. You don't have to use as many, but just add some rails right across as much as you feel comfortable until it hits that cactus. Now, let's go right here, right behind the dropper. Add a block in behind it with a comparator going forward on subtract mode. Add a block in front of that comparator with a rest on dust in front, a block on the side, a repeater going back towards the front with a rest on dust like so. Let me just color code this. Perfect. Now, what you're going to do is, guys, you're going to use some observer blocks and you're going to place it right on top of that rest on dust and one below facing forward and one on top, any block in front of each one. Now at this point, guys, once you place two blocks there, um, because of the cactus, we can do that. So we just have to relocate this about one block to the side. So we just got to make a slight adjustment. Let me place that block there. Perfect. And let's break this real quick. Add one hopper in front and one on the side. Add two power rails right on top like so. Then you're going to get your sand, place it right there with a cactus right on top. So that's the only slight adjustment we have to make. Now, you're going to place a sticky piston right on top of that hopper with a block right on top of that. Place a block there with a button because that's going to be your departure system. So what's happening here, guys, we're going to place a block right there with a rest of dust on top of it. Now, believe it or not, the actual barrel is going to activate the dispenser causing that to shoot out first. Now we're going to place a few blocks like so and just kind of fill up this entire gap. And we're going to create a huge delay. So add a repeater like so, about three, on full delay. Add two pieces of rest on dust and you're going to add one, two, three, four, five, and six, all on full delay. Now the cool thing about this guys, you can really make this delay as long or as short as you want by adding or reducing repeaters. So what happens is that activates that, the dispenser, and in a few seconds that goes up causing the my cart to shoot forward. Now right here, you're going to add a redstone block with a block right in front of it and a block on the corner. Then you're going to add one down, delete the first one. Kind of create this nice stair pattern. Now what I want you to do is add a straight line of power rails just to kind of extend that. Then you're going to add a regular rail with a power rail going downwards. Now make sure you have that regular rail on that corner. Now starting from that dispenser, you're going to add a straight line of blocks to you hit about right there. Perfect. And add a straight line of power rails all the way towards the front until you get to on top of that dispenser. Now make sure you add some levers, make sure that all the power rails are activated. Now at this point, we're gonna go right back to the other side again. And we just forgot to add one, two blocks right over here and then curve it towards the rest on block, okay? And all you have to do is add a straight line of power rails like so add one right there and a regular red to curve it so that when you come in go right to the front now all you have to do at this point guys is really start decorating adding your blocks towards the floor and really making this look like your style okay now another key factor guys right on top of these pistons because i like everything to look flush when you start decorating this add some stairs if you add stairs on top of the piston or a transparent block, it's not going to cause you damage when you go through this. Anyway, I hope this was good enough, guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.